And now to our signature segment. Tonight we focus on the difficulties small businesses often encounter when they try to get bank loans. It can be a problem not only for those businesses, but for the overall economy, because loans fuel expansion, and expansion leads to new hiring. In fact, small businesses are credited with creating two of every three new jobs. Recently, new online lenders have popped up as alternatives to banks. The costs are high, but the process is dramatically faster. NewsHour special correspondent Stacy Tisdale reports. Soon after opening DJ's Delights, a deli in the New Jersey shore town of Asbury Park, co-owners Ron Wendelowski and DJ Presto realized they needed to upgrade kitchen equipment. And they figured they could easily get a small business loan of about $6,000 to do that. But when Wendelowski, who manages the books, tried going to a bank in 2010, he quickly found out it was going to be anything but easy. It's aggravating. We, you don't have two months to wait to get that loan from the bank when you, when you need the money now. So, you, you know, it's kind of like getting the door shut in your face. So when Delowski started searching for alternatives online and stumbled across a lender called On Deck, he did a little research, then applied for a loan, the entire process taking place online. I mean, it took literally like 10 minutes. It wasn't anything, you know, that that took away a lot of my time from running the business or having to gather, you know, 50 different documents or tax statements or anything like that. So it was, it was a very easy process. And in three days, we had the money we needed. Since the financial crisis, small business lending by banks has declined substantially, according to federal data. The value of loans of less than $100,000 is down by more than 18% since 2008. But while banks have pulled back, new types of sparsely regulated non-bank lenders have stepped in as alternatives, hoping to disrupt traditional small business lending. Online companies like Cabbage, Can Capital, Swift Capital, PayPal, and Wendelowski's lender On Deck are using technology to make fast decisions about relatively small loans, but with interest rates that can be several times that of a bank loan. Banks have not been natural lenders to this segment of the market. Noah Breslow is the CEO of On Deck and a former software engineer. On Deck typically lends to small businesses with less than 10 employees, and its average loan is for $40,000 with a term of one year. It's a type of loan that Breslow says is very difficult for a traditional bank to make profitable. So what our technology lets you do is make that $40,000 loan in, in, in seconds, but using the same kind of analytical breadth that you'd want to bear, speeding up a process that was much less efficient uh, before. Our platform can say yes to more small businesses. When a business applies for a loan, OnDeck says it quickly analyzes more than 2,000 data points, both big and small. It crunches traditional metrics like cash flow and the business's credit profile, but it also looks at social data, which means if you're a restaurant like DJ's Delights, it'll also be checking what customers are saying on review sites like Yelp. What can Yelp tell you about someone's creditworthiness? Uh, you have to be careful. So what you don't want to do is make a decision about a loan because someone didn't like the chicken uh, last night in a restaurant. But what you can start to do is build patterns and models that statistically tell you a restaurant that's doing $2 million in revenue um, might have this number of Yelp reviews or this frequency of Yelp reviews. New York-based On Deck has extended more than $1 billion in credit since launching in 2007 and has raised money from high-profile investors Unlike banks, Ondex loans are not backed by collateral. And while Ondex doesn't disclose detailed data on defaults, it says the rate is in the, quote, single digits for its loans. For Ron Wendelowski, Ondex has become a consistent source of credit. The business is on its fourth loan, and it's used the money to stock supplies after Superstorm Sandy and to expand from just a deli to a sit-down restaurant and a small market. We definitely would not be what we are today without their help. The business's current loan is for just over $40,000 over 12 months. But the money isn't cheap. The annual interest rate on its loan is about 30%, almost six times what a small business loan from a bank could be. Was getting that money at that time, even at that high rate, worth it? It was worth it. 
It's higher interest, of course. But when you're a business owner and you need the money and your business depends on it, you're going to, you know, accept that. While an alternative loan worked for Wendelowski, there have been reports of small businesses running into serious trouble with high interest loans taken out from other online lenders. And while Noah Breslow of On Deck thinks the cost of alternative loans like its will come down, the average annual interest rate is about 50 percent. The rates aren't cheap. Mm -hmm. How do you mm -hmm. justify that higher rate to clients? Well, I think you're paying for speed and convenience. I think merchants would much rather have the choice of taking a loan than not have that option at all. And I, I think for the value we provide, we're priced fairly. But alternative lenders like OnDeck have been criticized for potentially taking advantage of desperate small business owners. You know, I think people sometimes think, oh, small business owners are unsophisticated. Our business uh, customer has been on, in business on average 10 years, right? Multiple economic cycles. It's not like we're taking folks you know, who don't understand what they're doing. But alternative lenders are still very much alternatives. While OnDeck and others have been growing rapidly, lending an estimated $3 billion in total last year, that amount is just a tiny fraction of small business loans given by banks. In total, more than $125 billion in 2013. Community banks have been innovating for decades, and they do the vast majority of small business lending. They do the vast majority of lower dollar lending to small businesses. Paul Mursky is the chief economist for the Independent Community Bankers of America. Together, community banks are responsible for 60% of small business loans, despite being just 15% of the total banking market. An industry survey showed that they approve about half of all small business applicants. That's less than alternative lenders on the whole, but more than on deck, and more than big banks, which approve about 20% of applicants. Well, community banks specialize in small business lending, and that's because it's a relationship uh, lending where the community bank knows the local market, knows the customer, knows the small business owner personally many times, and that really helps with the lending decision and makes a better lending decision than a transaction that's been you know, done online or a uh, thousand miles away. And when it comes to cost, banks can offer a much cheaper option for small businesses that can qualify. On average, just under 5% annual interest for a loan under $100,000. Many of these new startups are simple formula, high rates, um, maybe simple and quick to get your loan, but uh, the rates and the terms are not going to serve the small business owner and not going to serve the best interest of that business. But Noah Breslow is convinced technology is ushering in huge changes in small business lending. Where do you see this alternative lending industry in 10, 20 years? You know, I think it loses the designation of alternative. Um, so I think just like today I buy a plane ticket online with Priceline.com, maybe 20 years ago I would have talked to a travel agent. Uh, you know, we are going through that entire cycle. We're probably in year five of a 20-year journey in terms of lending. Since taking out loans with On Deck, Wendelowski thinks he could probably now get a loan from a traditional bank, not that he wants one. After paying back their current loan, Wendelowski and partner DJ Presto are hoping to be able to run the restaurant without any loans, traditional or alternative. Learn about an international micro lender that adapted its business model for small business owners here in the United States. Visit newshour.pbs.org.